it's your boy HP Maharaja and we back at it again today. We got some good Garba going on, good Garba spirits obviously because we're going to have a lot of Garba coming up um, and you'll probably see that in a couple of vlogs perhaps, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I got a question this morning from someone I know that's attending Hack UCI um, and uh, he's a... Uh, I think he's like a very beginner, um, very beginner like hacker. Uh, and so the question he asked me is like, do you have any advice for me for my first hackathon? And I think that's a great video to make right now. Um, obviously I forgot to mention the date. Today is January 31st, the last day of January. Hey man, the year, a month has gone out of the year. Who would have thought, right? Um, let's see how many people are actually still in the gym. <laughs> Anyways, going back to this, you know, the deal here. What what kind of, what kind of advice would I give someone who's about to attend their very first hackathon? Um, so let me start off by saying, what have you identified for yourself? First, you need to do an analysis on yourself. Like, what are you really passionate about? What are you think about some things? I mean, it's not that you're not passionate about anything and you haven't figured out anything. What do you do in your spare time? Figure it out. You know, like, do you watch TV? Do you play video games? Do you go play basketball? Do you, you know, walk around? Do you just sleep? It's up to you. What do you do? Out of those things, you can identify what sort of ideas and creativity you can bring from those exposures and experiences that you have had. Uh, and that's why it's so important to identify that before you attend your very first hackathon. After you've identified uh, exactly what your passion is, um, not exactly, but at least somewhat realm of what you do on your spare time. Um, try to identify some problems, okay, in the world. Um, and you can spend a lot of time in, in the beginning of the hackathon thinking about the problems that you can potentially solve. But right now, just think about the problems in the world that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. They can either be doing the activities that you really enjoy doing or the activities that you just monotonously do. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, try to find some problems in the world. And don't tell me you don't find any problems in the world because, to be honest, as perfect as it may look, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, there's always problems and issues and everything that goes along with anything. So try to find problems. Uh, let me give you an example, okay? Um, you know, I was flying uh, some airline from one place to another and, uh, you know, the my bags, when I checked in first, they came out two hours later, you know, like we were waiting there for two hours for the first bags to just even come. And then our bags came an hour later. So that's a, that's a problem in the travel industry. So I, I'm very passionate about flying in the travel industry. And that's why I sort of give this example. And the, that's the problem where like my bags either come way too late or they got lost. And that's a whole different issue. So try to think of ideas to help solve this. What is logistically the problem from point A, which is your hand, checking it into the counter to point B, you picking it up at the baggage claim on the other side of whatever your destination is. Think about it in those terms. And more, more often than not, you can help solve the problem in a smaller, big way. So that leads me to my third thing. No problem is too big to solve. And no solution is too big to solve all the problems. Let me repeat that. No problem is too big to solve, but no solution is too big to solve all the problems. It will never happen. You will never solve all the problems. And also, the problems will never be mitigated and you won't be able to, you won't be able to say that I solved the entire problem. It won't happen. You can solve partially or whatever it is, but you won't be able to solve the entire problem. So, what do you do at the first hackathon? First of all, you're limited by 36 hours, um, at least Hack UCI. So, if you're limited by 36 hours, what are you going to be doing? You know, like, you can't be making, you know, the world's next big thing in 36 hours. I mean, if you do have the faith, then definitely it will work out. But, for the most part, it doesn't work out that way. And that's why... You need to start planning to create something rather than end up trying to create something really big and you don't even produce an end product. 
solve a niche problem. And even within that niche problem, you'll find a very small gap in the middle where you can solve a sort of a, a intermediate problem. Uh, for example, uh, solving a very small problem in that lost baggage along the chain of where that bag goes and comes. Uh, so that's very important that you identify what small niche problem you want to solve. Now forget the problems, right? How do you go about building solutions? So come up with, take an hour, come up with a plan on how to build the front end, back end. Now if you don't know what a front end, back end is, don't worry. Look up how to use a web application. Hang on one sec, rewind. Go back and when you start your, you know, you can do some research in, in before the hackathon to figure out how to search for, for solutions. And computer science is a very big thing and a very, very good skill to have. It's to identify how you would find solutions to software coding related problems on Google. All the answers are there, you just gotta figure it out and put it all together. That's the one of the biggest skills you can develop and utilize at a hackathon, is that if you're stuck somewhere, ask Google. It will know, and you will find answers all over the place. You just have to go through the information and become really good at finessing and taking out the small solution, wherever it is, the gold, out of the whole you know ocean of information out there. That's another one of my advices, and uh, what I will end up saying, and, and that advice applies to you executing and building your idea throughout the duration, use the resources like mentors and people around that can help you. I can definitely come up and you know sort of help you figure out how to take on different challenges and stuff, different problems and issues that you might have in your coding and software stack. Um, but utilize your resources. The last thing I will leave you with is, if you're going to hackathon, a lot of people will be demotivated to drop out about halfway through or even less. And they just go there for the food or whatever. If you really, really want to get something out of it, build something, whatever you have accomplished, let's say it's an unfinished product, product make sure you pitch it and submit it into the hackathon. That process is probably the most beneficial to you as a budding hacker, software engineer, entrepreneur, whatever you want to be. It's very important for you to take the time to finish a product or work towards a product that you ultimately showcase to other people to get some uh, feedback, get some ideas. And it, it doesn't matter if you don't finish your project. You know, it's completely fine if you don't finish your project. You just have to submit your whatever you've done and pitch it to people and people will talk about it they like that's a great idea maybe this can be changed maybe this you know how do you implement it some people will learn from you and you will be able to learn from other people's comments and suggestions so that's probably the most important thing when you're trying to go for your first hackathon or one of your very first hackathons produce something work hard at it and make sure you submit it to pitch it at the uh, day of judging so that's basically it. I know I went on a little bit here, um, but it was a very, very important topic that I needed to discuss because I know a lot of people are kind of figuring out like what they need to do for a hackathon, what they can hack together, what can happen. Uh, but now you know, um, and happy hacking. So <laughs> I hope this helped. If it did, please leave a comment, share this video, whatever you need to do um, to help your fellow peers out. Other than that, I'll see you at Hack UCI, HP Maharaja, signing out. Peace and love. Jai Ho, everybody. Take care.